The battle over chemicals and genetically modified foods is also being fought in supermarkets and restaurants. Nicholas Stapanelli, executive chef at Bibiana in Washington, is one of the younger generation of chefs who pay close attention to the source of their ingredients. Welcome. Thank you, Charlie. Good morning. Good morning. Are you worried about this? I'm concerned. Uh, we've done a lot of research on it, but it's, it's one of those things where we talk to the farmers, and if you're standing in their shoes and you have to weed uh, 100,000 acres, you know, that's a big task to do by yourself. So it's, I see the need and necessity to it, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff in between to kind of read through to find out. Okay, you also want to protect the people who come to your restaurant. Very much so. How do you do that? That's why we source locally, and we talk to the guys, and we're able to know exactly what's in the food that we're bringing to our restaurant, and that's what we strive for. So, Is this a growing concern, though, these kinds of chemicals <laughs> that are, might very well affect the quality of food? I think it's always a growing concern. Uh, this actual chemical, though, has been around since pre-Vietnam that they've been using it. It just it kills grasses, and now corn's a grass, so they're using it for corn because they've genetically modified it. So now they're going to be introducing so much more chemicals into the system. And my biggest concern with this is how is it going to affect our water tables? Is it going to stay into the soil? Things like that. What's the after effects of it? How do you keep informed? A lot of reading. Yeah. But I mean, and chefs communicate to each other as well. I mean, this we all is, talk to each other. a growing kind of concern. And so therefore, you want to make sure you've got most up-to-date and accurate information. Talk to each other. We talk to the farmers. I mean, a lot of the farmers that I work with, you know, we eat together, they come, they're in the town, they're in the restaurant, they're talking with the wait staff, with the cooks, so they're able to really hear and see and, and feel kind of what's going into the food that's coming into our doors. So. Are the people who come to the restaurant more concerned now? Do you find there's a heightened awareness of the quality of food? I think there is, and it's a good thing, and I hope to see it kind of extend where people really want to know what's going into what they're eating. And I, it's a big concern because it's nutrition, and it's, you want to be concerned with what you're putting in your body. If you go spend six hours on the treadmill, it doesn't matter if you eat exactly. poorly after you're done. So, Nicholas Stefanelli, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.